we usually have lot of issues managing our email accounts mostly deleting lot of emails which are not useful to us so this is the series hey guys you're watching future automation and this is tejas and today we are going to go with another series that is gmail analysis series in a three video part process and we are going to see how we can use our email services with python and deal with lot of actions through it so with a cup of coffee let's get started So guys basically this video is divided into three parts although it would have been finished in two parts but there was one more uh, interesting uh, objective that I have added in the second video which I wanted to add in my machine so I thought why not everyone can take the fun as well as the interest in that part also. So I'll give you a quick demo of what exactly we will be doing by the end of second video and then we'll go with the objective of the first video. So basically I have created an exe which is already I have done that part because I don't want to spoil the process in bit in showing you all the details. I just want to uh, build that interest of what exactly we are going to do it. So just bear for the sec and I'll just give you a quick demo. So here what we are doing is every time my machine will get started we are going to run a cron job kind of thing that will tell us what are Welcome the latest sir. emails yeah this are the mails for today from tejas shaha subject this is an urgent email that's my name again from tejas shaha subject yo this was a very short subject okay so guys basically the objective of by the end of second video is that wake up daddy Sean. welcome home sir Congratulations on the opening ceremonies. We are going to create a whole code. We are going to create a, its exe and we are going to add a filter that it will work only for today. You can do it with uh, a different types of filter like if you want a email ID specific uh, uh, output that is if say for example I have one email and I want all the emails which are to be mentioned in this particular job are to be done of that particular email only or basically from this to this date only that is kind of thing that you can do so once you understand the basic code of what exactly this all thing is doing it's quite easier to um, you know modify it as per your will and wish so let's get started okay first of all as usual what all libraries we need and then we'll go through the further code so first two libraries are imaplib and email uh, these two libraries are i think already installed because when i tried to import them i didn't get any issue so obviously they'll be installed if not you can just do the pip install and you can just uh, quickly install it second is the credentials this is something that i have created here so it contains the user id and password of my email id so you need to put email ids email address and password of your email id for which you want to work this code this is all service okay next to that are the three initiation processes one is that which service email service you need to work with second is the function that will create the instance of this particular email service with the ssl extension so basically imf4 library is accessing this service with the ssl so it's kind of a safety and you not have any issue and the third one is we are going to log in with the user ID and password now let me remind you gmail will not allow you to use the normal password with this uh, smtp service to access your email account you need to create an app password with initiate in enabling the 
two factor authentication and then you need to use that password so if you don't know this whole process go back to my previous video and you can check it out i'll add the link in the description but yeah gmail has stopped the third party access probably that is the title of my video so go ahead and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and yeah we'll go ahead next to that now we need to select which uh, folder we need to access so inbox and then sent and the draft and lot, lot of it so obviously we need to select inbox we can also select sent emails if you want to check the sent email and then we are going to select a filter based search now if you want to see, see uh, for example if you want to check all the emails so we will say all if you want to check only the emails which are received now and you haven't read them so you can use the unseen here basically so if you'll see un sorry yeah unseen yeah so if you leave unseen the all the unseen emails will be uh, uh, displayed in the code but the problem is that if you will use this code the next time you will run this again and you are expecting the same emails to come out because you have not actually read them but you have run the code throughout to show someone probably it will not work because the way this works is whenever you will access the unseen emails by default they will get seen as if the server thinks that you have already physically went there and seen the email so that is how things work out uh, I don't know the back code for this but yeah this is how it works during my email apps in. so <clears throat> next to that we are going to access the now that basically how uh, this all things come out is that the data will access the email so it has two values one is the status and another is the the actual data so we are going to we are going to use only the actual data the first one that is the zeroth value is only the status and we are not interested in that next to that we'll get the uh, mail ids list so we are going to split everything into id list and then we are going to use those mail ids as first email and the last email so this will give a number for us which is the last email and which is the first email so we can use those as a part of index now next to that we are going to run a quick loop here this loop will consist of the latest email that is the last one and the first email that is the zeroth one and we are going to go from back to front because although in the email it will show you at the top here we are considering as the last one which will be the first one okay so kind of a you know at the top we are going to bring that email now next to that we are going to fetch the email uh, so each time we are going each time we uh, get the i so that is the index it is running from top that is 20th say for example to zeroth and then we are going to get the my mail so in my email we are having we are already having the data from there we are fetching the first one as the data and then in that data we are going to search for our email section so here now in data we are already having a lot of information so lot of information in the sense the whole uh, email is clubbed as a as a you can say as a mix up of dictionaries tuples and a lot of html stuff so we are going to fetch one by one all the details now from response part we are only interested in zero so here in data what oh, as i said all the things are mixed a lot together from that we are only interested in the email part so here with email we are having other data also which is not useful to us so once you start uh, coding this all uh, code you can see each data printing each data you will see what all data is inserted in this we are not going to put much time in that we are just interested in the email part so next to that we are going to get the first value in this particular uh, list and then we are going to get that now from for <coughs> this this is this will act as a tuple here now arr which is the uh, response from the zero part of this particular response part and we are going to check if that is a tuple so if that is a particular part is a tuple then we are good to go we have some data in that now in that we are going to convert this whole stuff into a uh, a string so each part will be divided into string and then we are going to use it as a dictionary now all the details that here they have provided will be a, a single string so we will not be able to access it as a single string so we are going to convert it into dictionary 
so next we are going to convert it into dictionary and we are going to add it in this now once we got everything we know what we need from that so we are having subject we are having from we are having date we are having content all these things are added in this particular uh, particular message so what we need here is we need subject and from now if you want you can add the date also but as of now we are only interested in from and subject so once you are done with this part you just have to print it that's it so let's run this and we'll see how things are working so here it will start fetching all the email ids all the details and what all emails that you have received so we have got some from the same email we have got some from the google we have got some from my actual email id and lot of things so here you can see that we have go, we have fetched all the emails from the inbox and we have showed it now from here the possibilities are limitless you can add this in an excel file and then create some kind of report you can do some validation like you do want this no reply emails uh, then you can just skip them with the if else condition you can add only the important emails in a list and then check cross verify with the uh, incoming data to see if this particular email is in this email list or not if not then don't show it if yes of course show it so basically this is how we are going to process this uh, code further i'll add this code in the github if you want to add any content if you want to add anything in this code uh, be sure to pull the code and then do your modifications and of course contribute it to the repo so that everyone else can also use the code and i am really excited to finish up the three part series so that we will by the end we will be having a next level of code which we can use for our daily to daily use and manage our email accounts so you try with different email services like you can say hotmail outlook and many more and see if things are working similarly or do you face any issue if yes make sure you share that issues in the comments and uh, let us know that yeah what all things we are uh, if we face in future with these kind of email services then this is how we need to do and if you are new make sure you subscribe to channel and share my video with others for those who are dealing with this daily fight of email management and let them know that yeah we can do this and of course as you know comments are always appreciated i love uh, hearing from people about what more things we can do so do make sure you uh, comment in the comment box hit the bell icon if you are new and subscribed just now so hit the bell icon for you for the notification and as i always say Keep it, keep innovating guys. Thank you. Take care.